All right, so we'll be talking about the Hassel's couple schools. Hassel's couple schools. And one thing is this name sounds really strange, right? So it's something that if you don't know, you don't know, okay? And the Hassel's couple school, if you come to this side, you get to see that the Hassel's couple schools, all right, they are actually what? Structures found in the thymus organ all right so they are found in the thymus organ or thymus gland all right and the thymus gland if you know about the thymus gland you know that this gland is what intensely involved in the immune system of the body all right so this might want you to suspect that the hassles couple schools to have something to do with what the immune system so let's talk about the hassles couple schools students were asked to just comment on it all right but me now, I'm trying to tell you everything about the Hassel's Couple School, right? So you now choose, but basically, even everything about the Hassel's Couple School is very small that you just need to grab everything, right? So the Hassel's Couple Schools are specialized structures found in the thymus gland, essential for immune system development and function. Yeah. Characteristics. They are a concentric layer of what epithelial cells, they, they are central region. They have a central region with degenerating cells and cellular debris. They are located in the thymic medulla. So this is the thymus. If you enlarge the thymus right here, can you see? This is the what? Hassel's corpus school. All right? So inside the Hassel's corpus school is where you are having all those degenerating cells and debris. Okay? Functions. They help in the T cell maturation and selection. You know, we have the B cells. B lymphocyte, we have the T lymphocyte. All right. So, what helps in the T cell maturation and selection is the Hassel's couple school, right? They also help in elimination of autoreactive T cells, as T cells that are not good. They help in the production of thymic hormones, like the thymosine. They have an antigen present, uh, presentation what? ability, right? Development. They are formed from the epithelial precursors during thymic development, the increase in number and size during fetal development and early life, and the decrease in number and size with age. What does that tell you? That's why older people, their immune system is more weaker because what the heart cells, couple schools are degenerating, are decreasing in number and size. Do you understand? So their immune system is weaker. Why children now they have what an immune system that is kind of like boosted up. You get me? All right. So clinical significance. Uh, this one is not really is not really a thing. All right. This one is just talking about possible disease condition that could occur. All right. So one thing one thing you must pick from here is any disease condition that is kind of like trying to suppress your immune system. Okay. That's Immunocompromisation or immunocompromise, immunosuppressed. Just know that it's affecting the thymus gland, and part of the thing in thymus gland that will be affecting is the Hassel's corpuscle. All right, so that's it on the Hassel's corpuscle. They are physiology. Okay, they are function. Basically, they are function. 